Right, now we're going to look at how to produce the HTML for this table calendar view for the Pro Web Design course month. So I'm just going to dive straight in and I'm going to introduce you to some HTML tags, which some of you may know, there may be some new things in there as well. So I've got the general template open already on the right hand side. So this has got the reference to the style sheet that the page uses. And I've also got in some space here which I'm going to use for making styles just for this page. And those styles I will then import into the main style sheet once I'm ready. It makes it easier to keep it all in one file. So let's just dive straight in. So I've got the heading one already, Pro Web Design Course Month 1. And below that I've got a single item, which is this large table that contains the data. So I'm going to use a table because what we've got is we've got data that's arranged in regular columns and regular rows where everything in the same column is somehow related and everything in the same row is also somehow related so that makes it appropriate for a table. I'm literally just going to start with a table tag. Now I know that I also have to put in self adding equals zero and cell spacing equals zero. We shouldn't have to do this, but we do. Now within a table, I've got two main sections. I've got the top part, which is my heading, which has got my column headers in it, and then I've got all the data that's actually within the table, and that's called the table body. So I'm going to create my two main table structures. One's T head, and the other one is, you probably guessed it, T body. Now within my table head, what do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six cells. Now because these are column header cells, they're not data cells, they've got their own special tag which is called the TH. Now my first one doesn't have any content in it. This, this is the one above the column that has the weeks in it. So that's actually empty. And I'm going to have five more. I'm just copying and pasting, and in there I'm going to type the words that I need. Okay, and that's all I need to do for my table head. Now let's move on to the table body. So within each table body we have a row, in fact I should have one, and a T head as well. Going to indent all of these to make it easy to read. There we go. So each row within the table body is also defined by a TR tag, a table row tag. And within that, we've got the same six columns. Now, the first column is slightly special. These are row headers. Where it says week one, that isn't really data within the table, that is the definition of what's going on in the row. So I'm going to use also th tags again, week 1. And because the text week 1, as you can see it's blue in Photoshop, that's going to be a link through to the week 1 page. So I'm going to type ah equals week 1. And I need to move the closing anchor tag to the end. And that's my table head. Remember, we're just talking about structure now. We're just talking about the semantic structure that's going to define the structure of the page and the content within the page. We're not thinking at all about styling just yet. So following my table head, I have some other cells. And these are called TD, which stands for table data. So the first one we're looking at is day one. And that's got a label there, day one. And then it's going to have three links, each one linking through to the content for that day. So week one, day one has three items in it, and I want each of those to be a link. So I've got some choices here. I need to get the, the words day one in there, and I need to think, well, what kind of content is that label day one? And then I'm going to have a series of three links. Now anything that goes in a series where everything in the series is a sibling that's related to the other ones should really 
be in a list. I could just put these in as three anchors, and that would probably work. But I'm going to try and do it properly, and I'm going to put these in the list. So the question now is, what kind of list should I use? Should it be an unordered list, a UL? Or should it be an ordered list, an OL? Which kind of makes sense, seeing as the contents are one, two, three. They're actually a sequence. And the other option would be a definition list. A definition list is the third kind of list. And that's made up of pairs, quite often, of definitions, sorry, of terms and their appropriate definitions. Now with a DL tag, the defi definition list tag, you can have one term that has three definitions. The DL tag really came from the early days of HTML when it was created for marking up and presenting academic papers. And those include definition lists. It's rare that you'll actually make a web page that actually has a list of definitions in it these days but it still gives us a useful structure. So I could say that the term within this column is day one. And for that term, I have three child definitions. So let's try that. I'm gonna go ahead with a DL tag. And within my DL, I have a term. Most must always have one term and at least one definition, or at least one term and one definition. And this is going to say day one. And it's also going to have three definitions. And they're going to they're going to be links as well. So I don't know what it's going to link to yet, so I'm just going to put a pound sign in. And that's going to say one. I'll copy it a couple of times. That will say two, and that will say three. And that is enough for that particular day. That's all I need to put. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that whole cell. And I'm going to paste it in a couple more times. So this one's going to be day two, and that's got two items in it. So I'll just delete that whole first line. Day three, and that's got two in as well, and so has day four. Day five is special because it actually has no content. This was last Friday. So what I'm going to put in here is the three dots. Now HTML has a special character for three dots. Special characters are identified by an ampersand sign. And this one is a, it's known as a horizontal ellipsis. And the code for that is ampersand helip, and then a semicolon. And that's what I have for my first week. Now what I can do is select the entire table row and copy it down here and paste it in again. And this one's going to be week two. It's going to be linked to week two. And these will be day six. Just a bit of typo there. From day 13, it's day three. Now there's no content yet for days 7, 8, 9 and 10. So I'm going to delete those definitions from there. And day 6 has just one item. So I'm going to leave it just like that. And let's finish off the table for the whole month with week 3. And there we go. That's the HTML that I need to make this table. The next thing we're going to look at is how to style the table.